Islam is just an excuse. These people come over here and they commit crimes that they're sworn to. That's how it works. Everybody has to punish wickedness when you see it or else you're accomplice. And then we have weirdos come over and they're like, see? And we don't even know about it. Catholicism has forgiveness because we're, we're brothers. But, you know, I can't make you. A queen has a certain type of sovereignty. It's not, they're not equal because I can't be criticized for being equal to a female, but I can be made holy by a queen. The feminazis think that it's the penis is the problem. Well, I'm here to tell you that chivalry and chauvinism while sharing a common linguistic group are not the same thing because France was a Muslim country for a long time. A gentleman will uh, bow, doff his cap, and murder you where you stand for a hanky from her ladyship. It doesn't matter what Islam is offering to contradict because they sell people. And I, all you gotta do is be like, well, now that you've done enough business with us, your money's worthless. So guess whose turn it is? Capitalism, communism, socialism. Why does socialism exist if actual medicine is not what they're after? Islam only exists so poppy farmers can use terrorism to get a better price. First, do no harm or you are not protected across international waters by diplomatic law. I explained how surgical dilatation and curatage was not specifically pre precluded in the, the Hippocratic Oath. People want to act like, oh, I don't know if that's worth listening to. Well, you, you can falsely portray and fall for every goddamn trick in a book on behalf of the Catholics. What does your money represent when you boil it down? When you boil it all the way down, down, down? How much is these, are these little blonde kids worth if you're charging extra and you're not willing to fight for it? You're not going to call me a chicken and act like we're affiliated, you dumb punk.